Ian, we've got the first leg of the Premiership playoff final here at Starks Park on Thursday. Um, it goes without saying, you're looking forward to the game? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the dressing room and the football club are excited um, to be where we are and to be in the final. I think we deserve to be in the final over the course of the, the regular season and then the, the really hard playoff games. Um, you know, Remarkable achievement from us, but we want to go one more. Uh, it's as simple as that and that's all it is now. Uh, two more games over four or five days and um, we know what the prize means. Yeah, It's the culmination of all the hard work that's gone in on the field, off the field and around the whole club and community. Absolutely, uh, yeah, th th like I alluded to last week, this doesn't happen by one person or two people, this is a massive group effort, um, this is thousands of people literally, we've seen that with the supporters, uh, we need them um, massively, we, we need the infrastructure behind the scenes, we need the office staff, we need medical staff, we need players, we need staff in, in terms of the football side of it as well. It's been amazing, it's been a fantastic journey that we've been on. Um, there's a part of me that says that we've already won because of the, the progress that we've made in, in terms of the club. Um, but we know that's not technically true because we want to go that stage further where we can do it um, on Thursday and on and on Sunday. Uh, you know, it's one of those fairy tale moments in football. Exactly, yeah. Um, looking to our opponents on Thursday, Ross County come here. Um, you've had them watch thoroughly, you, you know what they're capable of. They are a very strong Premiership outfit, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, were, we were under no illusions of how difficult the ties are going to be, and we're not naive, I think, to, uh, naive enough to think that we're that, that we're that we're miles better than them. Uh, it's going to be hopefully for us we, we can go and match them um, and a little bit more and try and get through the tie, try and get the the first game um, with an advantage, which we know will be hard. They've got good players, they've got a good manager, uh, they've got a good system, a very rigid formation in what they play. They're a physical side. Uh, play a good tempo and good speed. I think you only have to look at um, you know a few other players such as Simon Murray, Jordan White, uh, Dan down the midfield area to, to see how effective they can be. They've got a fantastic home record. They've um, not long ago beaten Hibs and they beat Rangers uh, and then draw Aberdeen. So that tells me everything. Mm, exactly. Yeah. They say in football and in life, indeed, um, that preparation is everything. Um, you'll be as well as well prepared as you always are for this game. But another little element that's been thrown into the mix is um, that three-letter word, VAR. Um, I understand you had an in-depth session about VAR um, earlier today. We did, yeah. We had Crawford in from the, the referees at, uh, at the SPFL and SFA. We really appreciate them coming in and spending time with us, the players and the staff, to, to educate us a little bit further on the, on the VAR, because it's not something we're used to, obviously. It was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, it helped me understand it a little bit more and what they're looking at in terms of their control centre and what they're talking about. And we understand VAR has, has got a lot of critics. And yeah, I'm glad we don't have it. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and tell lies. I'm glad we don't have it in the championship, um, but it's something we'll have to get used to if we, if we gain promotion. I understand it fully in terms of it's trying to benefit the game. Uh, it's like anything, it's even problems. It's, it's going to continue to be that way, I think, for a number of years, but eventually they'll get it going really, really smoothly. But you have to move with the times as well, though. Um, and you have to have the, the safety of players as your first thought also and it's, it's there to help referees. It effectively is there in the long run to make the game better and to make the game safer. Yeah, and, and of course with this introduction of our, if it turns out that it, it comes out with a decision that, that benefits us, then that extra pair of eyes, that extra bit of time that they've had to look at it, you know, we'll be really thankful, uh, but we could be undone by it as well, couldn't we? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's still elements of the VAR that the referee decides. You know, they have to, to go and look at look at decisions. It's, it's it is going into quite pretty uh, minor detail in terms of the, uh, you know, offsides and stuff like that. Obviously, they're looking at that at the moment in terms of trying to you know, maybe make a couple of changes to that to to make it easier for everybody because it is a tough one at the moment, uh, as, as is a handball. The fundamentals of football don't change regardless of far or not. Players are going to give 100%. They're going to have to show moments of quality in the game to try and win. They're going to, there's going to be tension. There's going to be pressure. There's going to be loads of mistakes from both sides, be it small ones or big ones. Um, so we are, yeah, delighted to, to get the opportunity to, to have a wee look at it. But also, look, that's that's far from our thoughts in terms of the game. Exactly, yeah. Um, Another aspect of Thursday's game and Sunday's game is that it's our first exposure, our first dealings with Sky as a broadcaster. Um, I mean, we're going to be the eyes of the world will be on us, um, but we'll have a full Penman family stand, a full Turnbull Hutton main stand, 
and the north stand is filling up with rover supports as well that's got to be a benefit to us oh yeah absolutely um before i knew yesterday that they were opening the way stand i did say to my to my eldest that i think they'll open the way end uh, eventually i didn't think it'd be this quick i have to say but it's went really quick i think nearly five thousand tickets home tickets sold yesterday which is an incredible achievement from everybody again it goes back to the group effort the collective that we've managed to 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 do here in terms of people paying good money every week to come here time expense um, disappointments, highs, uh, will go all, all throughout the season um, and players have to go and make sure that, that, that they're given the opportunity to do so and the players have done that but, but with that, behind the scenes, I can only imagine um, how Laura, um, Lynn and Margaret are dealing with all that in the office um, over at Small since Friday night so they're, they're working all hands to the pump. Yeah, Looking to ourselves and the team uh, again, um, how is the team looking? I mean, we're not going to go into injuries in depth, but you know, overall, how's the healthiness? Yeah, good, good. Um, obviously, Kyle Turner misses out because uh, the rules, he's an ineligible, and that's fine. That's just the way it is. It's disappointing for us, disappointing for Kyle, disappointing for, for the supporters, but th that's the rules, so we're not going to uh, bang on about it too much. Um, probably wasn't a fair situation to put Kyle in anyway, to be to be quite honest. I know Lewis Vaughan had a similar situation a number of years back, and um, it's, the rules are probably correct. Um, and we know that when we sign players so uh, it's an opportunity for somebody else we have got players ready um, Keith Watson is improving every single day he's um, but he'll be given every chance once again to face his former side Josh Mullins improving probably the best he's felt is today and trained really really well today so um, apart from those those two um, uh, we're in pretty good shape yeah a question I've asked you before I'm sure um, watching the game on Friday I was stood behind the dugout and the subs in front of me, it just struck me the quality, the options, the depth that we've got. Um, yet again, it's a great benefit to you to have those extra cards in your deck to play with, isn't it? Oh yeah, look, depth and quality that is there, we've seen it all season. We've seen it in, in terms of starting elevens and then on, on the substitute bench. And, and I'm not, I've said it a couple of things I've said and, and I stick by them as the starting eleven. Uh, is, is is backed up by a, a wonderful bench and is equally important um, and any one of them can go and play it's it's sometimes being picked on um, having a feeling for the game sometimes it's picked on form other times um, you know it's tactical but any single one of those boys I trust 100% um, with my life that when they go in that park and when they come to training they give absolutely everything will they make mistakes 100% they will all make mistakes, all have moments where it doesn't go our way, but the way they react, the way they have the hunger, appetite, desire to do well, sometimes you can't buy it. Yeah. Finally, um, it was yourself and Kevin Dabrowski that were doing the, the mainstream press and the phot photographs and TV earlier. Um, when you sign players like Kevin, and Scott Brown before him, Josh Mullen, Jack Hamilton and so on, was it ever part of the sales pitch about making a run for the Premiership? In, at the end of their first season for some of them? Um, well, yes and no. We, 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 you have to have some you know, goals, you have to have targets in terms of short term, medium and long. Uh, we're, uh, again, I'm not going to you know, you know, hide the fact we're probably ahead of where we, where we, where, where we thought we would be in, in terms of it's happened really quick, it doesn't always happen like this and it does take time sometimes. So we're well ahead of, ahead of schedule, but did we think we were capable? Yeah, we did when we looked at the players we were signing. We looked at um, the environment we are trying to create for, for the squad, which we, we felt was going to benefit us on, on the part. The easiest thing in the world would be to chuck loads of money in a budget and go and sign players for, for daft money. We've not done it, contrary to what people say. Uh, the figures are there, we published them, we're not hiding anything, we're very transparent. Um, so people can keep saying it and we'll keep coming back with more, we'll keep coming back with, with good recruitment, astute signings, the right character, the right quality, um, but it's the players that deserve a lot a lot of credit for the way that they've managed to gel really, really quickly. Um, the League Cup, they, they started really strongly, they continue it, they've got themselves in a position now to be two games away from the Premier League and if we get there, um, you know, it would be a fairy tale for us all. Well, let's hope we all enjoy the next episode in the fairy tale starting on Thursday. Thank you and good luck. Thank you.